Good morning, guys. I'm getting the vlog uploaded and gathering my script stuff to get ready to go to work. Happy Monday. All right, guys, it is lunchtime for me and my day is going pretty well. I thought it would be kind of crazy. Five days off, the kids come back from being home. They're usually crazy on Mondays, but it's been okay today. We got um, pretty much almost a class set of iPads. Um, so that was nice. And I am just eating my oatmeal again and getting some papers ready to go home to the students. And I just feel like my um, time for lunch is like gone by so fast. But I wanted to show you this program that they have at my school. And I think it's pretty amazing. And students who have like a below poverty um, income home, can qualify to get something called blessings in a backpack and basically what it is it's a bag or a backpack they put around them once a week on Fridays to take home all of this food I don't know if you can tell but there's let me see if I can get one of them out there's so much food like this is one whole bag of foods I could see waters and soups and sausages all kinds of stuff I, crackers chips and it gets their family through the weekend because the kids can get free lunch here at the school so they want to make sure that they're eating over the weekend and so every friday they send home the child that um and there's probably 20 or so families in our school that get this on friday and one of them happens to be mine and it's called blessings in a backpack which I think is pretty amazing because honestly, it could be like a little embarrassing to take home food every Friday, but because they're in a backpack or in this type of bag, other students don't know what it is. And so it kind of keeps it discreet, but it also provides that family with some extra food for the weekend. So I think it's a great idea. We're getting it today because um, obviously we weren't here on Friday for the hurricane. So we're, I'm sending that one home today. All right, guys, time to do a Q and A. Um, I put out on Snapchat and on Facebook um, for you guys to give me some questions. <coughs> Excuse me. That you guys have, and you provided. So, um, one of the first questions I have was, "Why do I want to do YouTube?" and I feel like I may have answered this before, um, but maybe not. Um, in my family, it's a kind of like a funny that I'm the one with no memory. And um, it's very true. I have absolutely no memory of my childhood. Um, memories leave me very, very fast. I feel like I'm going to eventually have like Alzheimer's <clears throat> and not remember anything um, yeah I I mean there it's gotten to the point where like Kara's you know about to be 15 and I don't remember her or the times when she was small like they almost don't exist in my in my brain I mean I don't know why I continually lose memories but as the time goes on, the more I lose. And uh, I feel like I'm going to be that old lady in the movie The Notebook. Where, you know, I'm going to have to have someone read my life back to me. Because I'm not going to remember it. So, um, so I feel like using YouTube to document my life, I will be able to um, look back and remember these times. And... Um, you know, be able to smile and I wish, I wish I would have done this when Kara was younger so I can look back at it when she was smaller, but I have them now. Um, so it's going to be awesome, you know, the years to come when I can just look back and watch my different parts of the of my life and 
watch Kara and just enjoy it. Um, so that's pretty much why I wanted to do YouTube because I, I saw some families that were doing it for that reason and I thought, oh my gosh, that would be awesome for my memory purposes because I just, I don't know, I just keep losing them. Um, the next question was, what do I think about um, transgender people? And being, uh, I think being who I am and the reason I'm able to teach special ed is because I'm the most non-judgmental person I feel like on this planet. I don't judge people for who they are. I don't judge people for what they can and can't do. I don't judge people for who they love, what color they are. I mean, look, I'm, I'm in an interracial marriage. Um, <clears throat> I teach special ed, so I have a variety of type of children in my classroom who I love. And um, I have many, many, many gay friends. So as far as transgender, I'm just a big advocate for all who need it. And as much as I advocate for my special needs students, I advocate for people who wanna love who they love and, and wanna be a different person. And I always say that some people are just born in the wrong body. They don't, they're, they're not matching it. Their soul doesn't match their body. And hey, it's your decision. Uh, if, if you were born a female and you wanna be a man, or if you were born a man and wanna be a female, that that is all you. That is a tough position to be in because you are gonna get a lot of ridicule. So I, I've even said this to my daughter, you know, students who come out that they are gay in high school, um, they have a, they, they are making a tough choice to come out at that age because their whole high school, they're going to have to fight for themselves. They're going to have to put up with being made fun of. And, um, that, I think that's why a lot of people stay in the closet for a while because honestly it just saves them heartache and it's unfortunate that this world feels like they need to lash out at people they they need to judge people when it's i just think it's none of their business uh same thing with me being heavy you wouldn't believe the amount of comments i get on my videos about how fat i am and they just want to go like what is your point what is your point in stopping your life and commenting that I don't I don't understand what they're getting out of it I don't like why do people have to be so mean that's that's what I don't understand like I if you think I'm so fat that's fine but why do you have to say that out loud same thing with like someone who you think looks ugly why would you just tell them that they look ugly like what are you trying to do to people with their self-esteem now I don't want it affect me because um, <clears throat> I don't care what your opinion is if you're gonna be mean um, that's just I've gotten to that point where say what you want I'm okay with it and I've learned to deal with those comments but as far as transgender people, you've got a, a tough journey ahead of you. You're going to have a lot of criticism and a lot of ridicule. Um, and I give you props for dealing with that because it is tough. Um, but I'm a large advocate for people that need it. And I'm here to stick up for anyone who's who needs it, really. Um, the next question is, how did I know Mark was the one? How did I meet Mark? Um, and that's a funny story. <laughs> We met online, of course, with this new age, met online. Um, <clears throat> and actually, as soon as he popped up in my messages, I said, oh, sorry, you're too far away. Because he lived in Palm Bay, and that is two and a half hour drive from my house. I am not doing that kind of drive to see someone. So, <clears throat> right off the bat, I said, you know, thank you, but uh, you're too far. And uh, he said, no, no, I'm not. And he worked so hard to get me to continue to talk to him. And I appreciated the effort. So I gave him a chance and we talked and talked. And I think we talked for, I want to say like a month, month and a half. 
before we even met. Like that's how long we talked. And so I felt like we learned a lot about each other and <clears throat> it was all based on our connection with our conversation before, you know, looks and all that kind of stuff. So, I mean, you saw pictures and, and that kind of stuff, but you know, the face-to-face, -face, you know, is, is a little different. But I don't know, we got married um, within three, three or four months. <laughs> of seeing each other, but it was just kind of quick. I don't know, it was like on a whim. We were on vacation from school and we just went and got married on New Year's Day. I don't know, it's just crazy. It's like one of those things that you just, you're just crazy in love and you just do it. I don't know why, I just, I just did it. That's just, <laughs> oh, that's just how that went down. So. There are some of the questions. I don't want to um, <clears throat> keep this vlog too long for you guys. And please feel free to always leave me questions. I do read my comments on my videos. I may not be able to have a chance to respond, but sometimes I end up responding to those questions like right now in a, in a video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thumbs up the video and don't forget to subscribe. See you guys soon.